Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will talk more about array lists in Java. Here is the outline. First of all, we will talk about looping through an array list, and after that, we will see how we can sort an array list. Let's get started. To loop over an array list, all we have to do is use a for loop. We will start from i equals zero as long as i is less than the size of the array list. So over here, I'm supposing that we are using the fruits array list from the previous video. And I'm getting the size of this array list using the size method. And after that, I++. And in this loop, each time I'm using the print method and I'm printing the element at index i. As you can see, I'm using the get method and I'm passing i as an argument. So we are printing the element at index i concatenated with the space. And this over here will be the output. So on our fruits array list, we have three elements and they are printed as you can see. Now let's talk about sorting an array list. To sort an array list, we are going to use the sort method of the collections class. Using this method, we can sort lists alphabetically or numerically. And as you can see over here, we are saying lists. And an array list is a list, okay? So first of all, let's print our fruits array list. We are using the println method and this over here will be the output. After that, we are using the collections class and we are calling the sort method of the collections class. And we are passing our array list as an argument as you can see. So after this statement is executed, our fruits array list will be sorted alphabetically. Because in this case, the fruits array list is an array list of strings. After that, I'm printing the fruits array list and this over here will be the output. And as you can see, now the elements are sorted alphabetically. Now let's see another example. Let's create an array list of integers. So over here, we want an array list of integers and let's call it numbers and allocate it inside the memory. After that, we will add these elements to the array list. So since this is an array list of integers, we will use the add method and we will give it an integer as an argument. So we are adding the number 1, 5, 7, 0 and minus 1 to this array list. Now let's print it and this over here will be the output. As you can see, these numbers are not sorted. So now let's use the collections class and call the sort method and pass our numbers array list as an argument. After this statement is executed, the numbers array list will be sorted. So I'm going to print it and this over here will be the output. As you can see, now the elements are sorted in an increasing order. Okay? So we can use the sort method of the collections class to sort array lists alphabetically or numerically. This depends on the type of the array list. Okay? So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.